development of technology is rapidly growing and improving. In these last 30 years, we have seen many astonishing devices and inventions. What is analog and what is digital? What effect did they have on the media industry? In the 80s, Sony knew its Betamax tape format was technologically superior to VHS, but what mattered most was availability and price. VCRs were more affordable, VHS tapes easier to rent. The adult industry pushed VHS hard because it was cheap. Sony ended up losing an embarrassing battle. Fast forward to today and the rhetoric sounds the same. HD is a jury-rigged DVD. It's just intuitive. HD DVD goes with my HD TV. HD DVD, successor to the DVD. Backed by a group of consumer electronics companies, including Toshiba and Microsoft. It's the next generation of DVD. Um, over 2 million pixels per frame, a lot of new interactivity. Blu-ray disc built from the ground up. Its biggest developer, Sony, who also puts the disc player into every PlayStation 3. Pristine audio and visual quality and interactive features uh, never before experienced by the consumer in a high capacity environment. It's tough to tell and figure out the better choice. Both formats deliver superior pictures and sound fit for those high def flat screens. Technology is shaping the verge of television and film in the media industry. Here's the way it works. Each separate impulse travels from the sensitive plate of the iconoscope in sequence over wires to the transmitting station, where it is then sent out into space to be picked up by aerials connected to television receivers. Data is broadcasted from satellites, providing us with internet connection and television. This works by transmitting data to a service provider via satellites. Then that transmitted material is broadcasted into our homes. For instance, this is how cable TV works. One of the new ways you can watch television is by watching it online. Taking a quick look at the promo slash advertisement that Google released for it on their YouTube channel. What this advertisement shows is that Google TV will be available in two distinct separate flavors. You can either buy a brand new television that has Google TV built in and it'll have the smart Intel technologies and have the actual processor inside the TV for you, or you can buy a separate desktop box that you can put and use with your current TV.